Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a second makeup look. Uh, the first one I hope you guys have seen. If you haven't, please do check it out. This video is also a celebrity makeup recreation. I saw this one look on Janvi Kapoor and I decided, you know what, like I want to recreate this. Also, this is very similar to what Bella Hadid does. So this kind of look has been around for a while and I thought let's break it down for you guys. I'm starting with the Garnier Wrinkle Lift Moisturizer. This smells delicious and is definitely one of my favorite moisturizers. It's a good product to include in your routine post 25. Then I'm going to use this lip balm from Disguise Cosmetics and it is honestly not that great. Next I'm going for this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This primer helps achieve a very flawless base by blurring out my pores and mattifying my oily areas. If you're an oily combination skin type then this primer is good for you. I'm also applying some of it on my eyelids. Starting off with my eye makeup first, I'm going to use a lighter concealer to create a base for the eyes. I'll set the area with a setting powder, a loose powder. Without setting the concealer, the eye makeup may appear very patchy and I don't want to have that kind of an effect. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the 90 Neutral Territory Palette for Morphe and I'm going to focus on these four shades. Hey you guys. Yeah, it's so cloudy right now that there is absolutely no natural light and this is my ring light. And in this room, this is like a spare room, so there is no proper light here. The only light that here that we have here is like a very bright yellow light which is not gonna work. So I don't know what to do. Should I oh now it's saying Oh my god. I don't know if I should continue like this. I'm already half done. <laughs> not half, like I just started, but still like I wanted to make this video. I don't know what to do. Should I go ahead? You guys might not understand anything and I might not even get like good pictures. This is really bad. I decided to continue anyway. I'm going to use these two light brown shades as the basic crease shade and blend it really really well. Then I'm going to use this cool toned light brown shade and sort of clean out the lid area. Next I'm going to take my kajal. This one's from Plum and this is retractable pencil kajal. It's quite pigmented and once it sets it does not smudge. So I will have to work on this real fast. I'll start by drawing a small winged liner and then using an angled flat brush, I will carefully smudge it out. Then I'm going to use this dark grey shade and further emphasize the blurry winged eyeliner.
It is optional but I would suggest tight lining the upper lash line to add more definition to the eye. Now I'm going to proceed to my base. Since this is a foundation free look, I'm going to start with my correcting concealer and spot conceal only. I'm going to use a little bit of setting spray to um, blend out the concealer so that once the concealer blends it also sets in its place. Then I'm going to take my brightening concealer on a flat brush and use it on areas I want to brighten up. And that is how my base looks, very very natural. I'm going to further set this with a little bit of um, setting spray on my beauty sponge and lock everything in. Unfortunately my K by Katrina contour stick broke and I'm going to use whatever is left over on my face to give that chiseled look. I'm focusing a lot on shaping my nose because Janvi has a very sharp defined nose. Next I'm going to take my bronzer and further define my contour and give my face the bronzed out effect. I always use an angle brush for this. To blend everything in, I'm going to take a stippling brush and diffuse the bronzer. Now I'm going to set my under eye area with loose powder and I would highly recommend using a powder puff to do this. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use a brown kajal from Wet n Wild. This honestly isn't the best brown kajal out there but I was low on budget and this is really affordable. I am then going to lightly smudge out the brown kajal to give it that blurred out effect. Black and brown is actually a very flattering combination for the Indian skin tone. Next I'm going to take this terracotta blush shade from the Makeup Revolution Blush and Highlight Palette and add some color to the cheeks. As you see here, I dusted off the excess product of my hands and then used it on my cheeks. Now I'm going to take a spoolie and um, this is a little hack that I do. I use a little bit of setting spray and just set my eyebrows instead of filling them. This gives it a more natural look while keeping the eyebrows in place. To line my lips, I'm using this um, lip liner from 
Nika Beauty. It's a very very pretty nude, warm toned nude shade. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use this brown lipstick from Faces Canada. This is a very lightweight and heavily pigmented lip shade and is a perfect everyday shade. I am going to use this molten gold highlighter from Maybelline to highlight my inner corners as well as my cheekbones. Lastly, I'm going to use lots and lots of mascara on both my upper as well as my lower lash line. This mascara is the Colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline and is my most favorite mascara. To finish the look, I'm going to try a similar hairstyle like Janvi Kapoor and a pair of small gold hoops would complete the look. I would suggest doing this hairstyle on your second or your third day post shampoo because with freshly shampooed hair, this look will not sit. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this and let me know if I could do justice to the original look. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.